Hey there, welcome back to Dakota News Now. It is now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors. And joining me as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And Doug, I, I think it's safe to say uh, Don Henley said it best, summer's out of reach. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Uh, late summer, early fall, there is a list of things to do. So what's top on the list for us to do here? Um, right now I use Labor Day as uh, kind of a, a benchmark to do a third application of fertilizer. Uh, you'll do your last one, after Halloween, yeah. using those holidays again to, to uh, remind ourselves. But uh, getting a third application now that's a little cooler will encourage some good root growth and uh, healthy roots of the lawn will be uh, beneficial next spring. Something else to do, uh, obviously take care of a little bit of weed work. Right, most people don't realize that fall is the best time of the year to kill weeds. Uh, they're still actively growing, temperatures are cooler, uh, you get them sprayed and uh, you're going to get a good kill on any of the weeds you have in your yard. And I know growing up my dad always used this time of year to uh, get some new seed going to try to get some new grass growing. Yes, now with the cooler temperatures you blessed us with, uh, it's a good time to get some uh, lawn seed going. Uh, what that does is it gives uh, the grass some time to actually develop a root system going into winter. So you want the, uh, the grass to be mature enough that it will have a good root system and ready for spring. What are some other tips for us here as we get ready for fall? Evaluate your mulch in your landscape. Right now you want things to go into the winter with a little bit of moisture around it. So look at your uh, mulch if you need to reapply. I go with a gauge of two or three inches is about adequate for around your landscape. So uh, look at that. If you need more, apply it and uh, you'll have uh, healthier perennials going into next spring. Should we be thinking about maybe cutting the grass a little shorter, keeping it a little taller? Definitely. Start lowering your mower gradually. Uh, you want to get sun to the uh, basis, the, the top of the turf, the crown of the grass. And uh, that will be healthier for the grass. Uh, you don't want long grass going into winter. It just causes a lot of problems. Do you, uh, you have any other tips for us as we say goodbye to summer and get ready for fall? As we did a couple weeks ago, uh, my final tip would be uh, if you have any perennials to split with the cooler temps, it's a great time to do it and uh, get them established for the winter and let their roots uh, get healthy and uh, ready for next spring. All right, sounds great. We're going to have all this information online for you at dakotanewsnow.com after the show. Doug, thank you for joining us again. Make sure you stick around because we have FastCast coming up next.